This month's Camera Club assignment is the concept of movement and we're going to look at various ways to uh, play with the idea of movement in photography and to try and make otherwise mundane things look interesting. And just where you see it says high speed on the train is quite nice. If we can get, if we can get that sharp. Interestingly, it's kind of, um, the image it looks like it's almost like the train is going in the opposite direction to what it is. So we're just going to wait for this uh, wait signal to illuminate. It's there. <laughs> and then use a shutter speed of about 15th of a second, which I think is a good speed to try and get a bit of motion of the cars in the background, but not too much so that they just turn into almost invisible blurs. Have a little look. That'll do. So we've got our nice illuminated wait sign. What we want is somebody waiting over the other side of the uh, of the walkway there. Rog. So we've got our wait sign, we've got our individual waiting and then hopefully we'll get cars rushing past in the foreground. Bicyclists. So we'll um, lose the tripod and we'll just do, try and get some stuff that's a bit more expressive really. So when we use the tripod we're trying to make sure that there's at least something in the frame that's nice and static and sharp to help accentuate the, the movement elsewhere that we're uh, working towards. But I uh, sometimes it's nice to do stuff where you're just kind of free of tripods and all of that kind of stuff and you just let the camera rush around, let the people rush around and you start to get some really interesting shapes. So we'll put on a slow shutter speed again and just literally walk. Slightly uh, take people by surprise as I shoot into their faces. I was just following people as they were crossing the, uh, the road here and you kind of get a mixture of, 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 of kind of following people as they're crossing from behind and then also get people uh, approaching you from the other direction and it kind of creates a nice mixture of movement. The whole thing with this kind of movement shot is it's very hit and miss really. You never really know what you're getting at the time so um, it just pays to do things again and again and again really. Here we go, the number turned to Hammersmith. So I've just taken pictures of this uh, bus, which is very static and stationary at a bus stop. Uh, and if you zoom the lens uh, in either direction, actually, as you've got the shutter uh, open at a slow shutter speed, then it gives you these really uh, lovely uh, uh, effects. Good.